Then I will keep you grooving, my girl. Moving, my girl. Whoa, well, I can see the angel in your eyes. The sauce. I got the sauce. <laughs> Karibu to Kenya, Richie Spice. Blessed greetings. <laughs> greetings. Give thanks for being here another time around, you know. Mm -hmm. Good good people, good vibes, good feeling, you know. Capital FM. Yes. Bless up. Yeah. <laughs> so why the name Richie Spice? Well, Spice is a variety of life, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, my pet name is Richie, so I just use it in, 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 um, as my musical name. Mm -hmm. You know, and the Spice now variety because, you know, we sing variety, music, variety of music, you know. Yeah, so the spice now, you know, make everything nice, you know, yeah. <laughs> what makes you keep coming back to Kenya? Kenya is my second home, you know, away from Jamaica, first and second, yeah. Um, the people in Kenya, you know, are nice people, you know, loving people, you know, with full joy performing in Kenya. People love reggae music and support which is spice, you know, so whenever time the people in Kenya call me, I always have to be here, you know. Yeah. <laughs> um, if you could collaborate with another artist, live or dead, who would it be? Well, it would have to be a live artist, you mm -hmm. know, to collaborate with. But um, there's a lot of artists out there where which mean do not some good work. And um, you know, if if if, it, if it's possible, you know, anytime, you know, I always have a open arm. You know, um, wanting something uplifting and conscious, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, have a open arm. No, no one special would say this one or that one, you know. Mm. Yeah. You've been to Kenya many times. Um, how comes you haven't collaborated with a Kenyan artist yet? Apparently, you know, I don't, I don't get the offer. I don't, I don't link up with any of them like that, mm -hmm. you know. But it wouldn't be a problem, yeah. you know. Yeah. Today you've met Lavosti, so maybe you can. Work with him? Yes, yes, we have it in mind and you know we, uh, we spoke with him earlier. Mm -hmm. You know, so we can see where we go from there, you know. Yeah. What's your favorite uh song from the album uh Living Ain't Easy? My favorite song from the album Living Ain't Easy. Um mm, there's a lot of song on it I love, you know. Um mm, one of the song on it is Earth Around Red. Yeah, mm. and okay. then there's another song, Grooving My Girl. There's a lot of songs on it that I really love, you know, because, you know, the right music, right from our art, you know, and our soul, mm. you know, so my soul is all in it. Yeah, so I mean, myself love my soul. Yes, yeah, so um, just to pick one or two, but I love all of the songs. Speaking about Grooving My Girl, who were you thinking about when you wrote that song? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, my <laughs> God. Well, you know, it was a girl mm -hmm. back in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, first love and all these things, you know. Yeah, because I wrote that song when I was like in tender age, you know. Yeah. Good answer. <laughs> what is your favorite Bob Marley lyric? Bob Marley lyric? Um, there are so many favorites. You know, you have... You have um, Shot the sheriff, you know, this man now wake up in a curfew, one love, you can't name the song them because Bob Marley songs them is like, um, you don't call it now, uh, you don't say now like a, a, a scripture, you know, from the Bible, mm -hmm. you know, where in which mean all of them is relevant, you know, yeah. Okay, um, what, can you share your backstory for your recent collaboration with Chronix? <laughs> It's a song where in which me and uh, we come together and you know put together. Um, um, it's it's a cultural song, you know, and you know getting it up in. I mean, Chronics never really give us any hard time, you know. It, it was a joy for him to come and um, collaborate with us on the song, you know. And it turned out to be a great song, you know, people loving it, you know, getting a lot of love also, you know, because it's out there right now. And um, people loving it, showing it a lot of love, you know. But it was a good vibe, good vibe working it, it? Yeah. yeah. 
you just dropped a beautiful life. Mm-hmm. If you could define one thing that makes life beautiful to Richie Spice, what would it be? Um, it would be more than one thing. It would be three things. Okay. Uh, and it's eat, ear and water. Yeah, mm-hmm. eat, mm-hmm. ear and water. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we live in a digital age with social media. Good. How do you keep your heart pure and your mind clear? Um, we, we never change whatever we do, you know, because social media network system and thing was coming recently. You know, so we don't let it take us away, you know, and shift our mind. You know, um, we try to stay focused. You know, we have people who help us to operate the social media also, you know, um, and assist us so we can even have a freer headspace, you know, to write a song or, you know, a freer headspace to do an interview with you, you know. Yeah. But we try to keep ourselves in a format in which we don't go too far and, and let the, the social media capture our head, you know. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you know, but mental health is becoming a big issue the world over. I don't know about Jamaica, but in Kenya, the mental health is becoming a very big issue. Uh, as Richie Spice, what would you tell anyone who is struggling with mental health? Well, um, what I would have to say, you know, um, you know uh, 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 try to stay focused you know and eat the right type of food because even the type of food that the people eat you know um mess up them headspace mess up them whole system you know because the type of um the type of things that them use in the plant you know like the fertilizers and certain type of thing that is what i'm um, causing you know certain mental issues in people headspace you know, leave out, leave out certain type of drugs, you know. Um, good, you, you burn your little herbs, you know, and all your meditation, you know, because the herbs, you know, the herbs just relax your mind, mentally, physically, mentally, you know. Yeah. You've traveled the world and hosted shows dif- in different places. Mm-hmm. What's the most memorable show you've had? One is the first time when I um, came here. In, in Kenya here, you know. Yeah, I never never really forget that one. That one is, was a very um, a serious show that stay in the back of my mind, you know, to see the love that the people have for Richie Spice and, and reggae music. Yeah, it was, it was crazy. I'm going to ask you to pick one out of the two, mm-hmm. and you can only give me one. Good. Yeah. So, Beres Hammond or Glenn Washington? Beres Hammond. Bob Marley or Peter Tosh? Bob Marley. Rita Marley or Phyllis Dillion? Rita Marley. Pele or Maradona? Pele. Messi or Cristiano? Messi. Really? Cristiano. <laughs> You're not sure? <laughs> no. Me, me no. Messi, Messi, me, me carry still, you know, I'm a dope still, honestly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Bless the love. This is Richie Spice, and you're watching the Sauce Capital FM. Yes, 98.4 FM, keeping the music playing every time.